I'm Sananda. I like to be here always, passing on a message of love and light to each one of you. The journey has not been easy. The journey is sometimes confusing and tortuous. You often feel lost, not knowing which path to take. The path is simple and easy to follow, as long as you walk the path with your heart. Always being sure that no matter how much that path sometimes has a lot of stones and hurts your feet, it is demanding the necessary attention, so that you walk more slowly, analyze where you will place your foot. Every obstacle, every difficulty, has a purpose. The big problem in this journey is that you never accept what comes on the path ahead. You don't think you're worthy, when the path is very bright. And they also don't think they deserve it, when the path is very difficult. After all, you have done a lot, why go through that? So you question, question everything and everyone. The great wisdom in life is not to question, it is simply to observe. Why can't you question? Why are you going to question who, God? I think I've been clear enough in my letters, that God is not guilty of anything, nothing is established, or decided by Him. The journey of each one of you is purely and exclusively the result of the choices you made. So who are you going to ask? So there is no question, there is no question. Yes, there may be an analysis, but an analysis of you with yourself, where you must ask, what did I do to be living, here now? What is the origin of this problem? What is the origin of this suffering? This is the correct question. So, what I can say to you is that as you look to the sky, and question God, the journey will continue to be more and more rocky so that you learn through pain, the truth and the path to follow, correctly. The questions you ask on a daily basis are merely futile questions, will it rain today? Will I get what I want? These are questions that, it is not you asking the question, that they will happen, that's why they are futile. Don't ask about something you don't have control over. Who are you asking? It's not for God either. And what answers them? whoever is nearby. So if you have a low vibration, you may even hear a response, and until you think, oh, God answered me. No, God did not answer him. Because your vibration was low, anyone could have responded to you. So be careful with the questions you ask, to no one. Because it is not God who answers them. God answers yes, but when you have a deep conversation, with an open heart, in the middle of a prayer, in the middle of a meditation. Then yes, God the Father or Mother will respond with all the love that is given to Him. Now, a futile question thrown in time, God will never answer. So do you realize how much you spend on nonsense, on futile and small problems? So for that question, will it rain today? Look at the sky and there is a single cloud, a little darker, He already takes the umbrella, he starts to curse himself, what problems will come because of that rain and you don't even know, actually, if it will rain. I tell you, that the moment is to live in the present, the here and now. What do I have to do now? Do what you have to do. It ended. I finished this one. What do I have to do now? Start another one. It's no use, you plan millions of things for a single day because if one of them goes wrong, all your planning was in vain, and at the end of the day, you will be exhausted, disappointed, and even angry. So what did you gain, with all that planning? Nothing, it just shook your vibe, because you ended the day upset, I couldn't do anything. And, your way of living is totally wrong. Always be in the present moment, what am I doing now? So I will do what I am doing with a lot of love and with a lot of heart. And it will happen in such an easy way that you won't even notice it. Is that over? Well, now I'm going to plan something else, what will I do now? Start something else and do it too, with your heart. At the end of the day, you will look back and see, wow, how much I did. Of course, because you put love, you put your heart into what you were doing not worrying about whether or not there would be time to do the rest. You did what had to be done at that moment, then you put all your thinking, all your strength, all your love, 
all your heart into it, and it came out easy, peaceful, even better than you expected. Is that one over? Then yes, start another one in the same way. So don't be planning, tomorrow, next year, the next century, live in the here and now. You can project, I project, on such a day to be somewhere you are projecting. They are doing an analysis and have designed, being in that place, at that time, very well. The universe will respect that, but it is a project, not a plan. A project is when you think about something that you can do at that moment, he is there, now whether it will come true or not will depend on your path. But you're not focused on that, like, I need to get there, I need to do it, I have to do it. No, you are wasting your energy for a moment that you don't even know if you will be there to live. So don't plan, project, I plan on being in a new job in a month very well, you projected. Then when that date arrives, if you didn't get the new job, you didn't tear your hair out, why didn't you plan, you designed. And when you got there and it didn't happen, you just looked at yourself, well, I did something that didn't work out. Very well, I'm going to project a little further forward. And so you go on living, without focusing on what is projected. You designed it, let it go, the universe saw what you designed and if it's your path, if it's good for you and for the whole, the universe will see that and will find a way to make it happen. But you are not living each day, until that day comes, thinking about it, because you could get hurt a lot. And then do what you do, look at the sky, why, my god. So don't plan, project. Your life is driven by your attitudes. So if you are walking, living each moment, with lots of love, with lots of light, what are you doing with the step forward? You are generating light, for that step too, no matter what it will be. It will be illuminated, because you are living a moment with lots of light and lots of love. Then that next step will also be illuminated, and you will always be lighting your way forward. Now when you start planning. No because today I will do this, 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 this and start doing each one, you don't give the path a chance to light up. Because you've already filled the entire path, you don't even give the universe a chance to bring you a surprise. Because you have already defined your entire day, you have filled your day with plans. So how is the universe going to send anything? And how will what you plan to have light if you don't give space to push the light there? I hope you are understanding. Live in the here and now. You have a date to meet, project that date, because it is not necessarily certain that it will happen. It's a projection, it's a project. Projects are changeable. The dates of a project are changeable depending on the environment and what happens during execution. So don the day and say to yourself, today I will follow and do everything I can, with lots of love and with lots of heart. And that's it, give the day to God. Then you can hand it over to Father or Mother God, because He knows the needs of each one of you. So if you do everything with love, if you do everything calmly, with delicacy, with affection, that energy grows in such a way that it can fill the entire day, and whatever you do will work out. Because you filled the rest of your day, with love, with heart, with affection. And you can also say, look today I'm so happy, I'm so fulfilled that I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to stay in this energy all day. Perfect. Feel that energy that you generated yourself, take care of yourself. Take a moment to look in the mirror, take care of yourself, take a shower without having to finish it. You can take a shower without wasting Gaia's water. You can get wet, you can turn off the tap, soap yourself slowly, caressing your body, looking at your body. Many of you haven't done this in years. So, look at yourselves, look at this fantastic machine that you are. Ah, but the body doesn't look very nice. Father or Mother God does not see beauty, he sees heart. What's the point of having a beautiful body that meets the precepts of beauty, with a black heart? A body is better, not quite within the beauty standards, but with an immense and enlightened heart. So take that time for a slow bath, 
lie down for a while, relax, do something for yourself. Close the bedroom door and say, I'm going to take half an hour for myself. And take that moment for yourself, because you've already done everything you had to do that day. Oh didn't you? The world didn't end because of this. And people will know how to respect this moment of yours, because you made yourself respected. Then you will lie down, you will connect with Gaia, you will ask for divine protection and you will see your body being flooded with light. I guarantee you that at the end of this day, you will be different people. Light, at peace with yourself, loving you, being proud of the being you are, with all your mistakes, it doesn't matter. You fight the mistakes every day. Those who have already passed, ask for forgiveness and continue the journey. So this is my message for today. Do things with love, with love you understand everything you do. Don't do it mechanically. You received a gift, from all of us, but it is not meant to be done, like putting a recipe in a pan, because even that recipe in a pan, if you do it without heart, the recipe won't work. So always think about the pan and the recipe. Do it with love. Don't do it, I'm going to do it because they tell me to. Nobody is sending anything, it is a gift, and a gift you either use it or not, it depends on whether you liked it or not. None of us will turn our faces or our backs on you if you don't make the gift. Our love is unconditional. We don't judge you. If you don't, we're the same. Now, don't make it like a recipe, which you put in a pan, because I guarantee you the recipe will not work. You will only waste time. Do it with heart. Do it with understanding. You get caught up in small details and don't accept what you get. Why? Because the details, right there, are where your understanding of reading with the heart or not lies. Anyone who reads it, with love, with heart, has no doubt. Now whoever reads for the sake of reading, or reads just to fulfill what is asked, will understand nothing, and I guarantee nothing will happen. An initiation into a ray is not walking through the ray. It is a very profound step that you will take. Now, only those who do it with lots and lots of love and heart will be able to reach this step, and mainly having gratitude on this path for having received this possibility of being initiated into the ray. This is no joke. This is not an attitude that you are going to have and that's it. This is very serious. And I really hope that you make good use of everything you will learn. And another thing, whoever is not initiated, don't judge anyone, don't judge yourself. You weren't ready and it's over. There's nothing to do. Revolt will get you nowhere. So, the first step on this journey is pure love and gratitude. If this is not there, you will certainly not be initiated. I am Sananda. And as we have said, I am beside each of you. If you can't understand, ask us for help. Learn to talk to us. You are not giving due importance to what we say. Learn to talk to us. It's for the good of all of you.